In this video, you will learn how to make this Bauhaus inspired animation simply and entirely inside After Effects. I came across this piece of Bauhaus artwork and I was overcome with an urge to animate it and bring it to life. I decided to see how easy it might be and it turns out it's actually super simple. I knew that drawing each wave individually would be time consuming and leave me with little influence over what was happening, so the first thing I did was create some black and white stripes. From doing this in the past, I knew I needed to create this composition and all other compositions much larger than my main render composition. This is because we would end up seeing the warping on the edges if we kept them the same size. So by creating them larger than we need, we hide the edges once it is in our smaller render composition. Inside my stripes comp, I added two solids, one white and one black and then added the effect Venetian Blinds to the top layer. With the transition completion at 50% and the rotation at 90 degrees, I adjusted the width until I was happy with the spacing, which for me and my comp size was 193. I brought this into my main build composition, which is still the larger size, and through laziness alone, my first idea was to try wave warp which does create the basic shapes but I wanted more variety and randomness in the waves which wave warp just doesn't provide. My next idea was displacement map which I've been having a lot of fun with lately and yet again it did not let me down. Displacement maps work by using a black and white color map to displace our layer. Anything white moves one way and anything black moves the other so a nice gradient between the two creates a nice ramp or curve. I created a new composition called Map 1 and added a new solid with a gradient overlay where I made roughly evenly spaced black and white stripes. The more stripes, the more waves you will have. I then keyframed the offset so the stripes move from left to right over 10 seconds. I brought this into our main build composition and turned it off and placed it at the bottom out of the way. I added an adjustment layer with the effect displacement map and in the drop down I selected the map layer we just created. I ramped up the vertical displacement and then keyframed it to increase even more over time. We can then go back to our map 1 composition and adjust our stripes or even add a grey solid on top with a mask to add a bit of randomness to our stripes consistency. I then repeated this process and created a second map composition but this time I added one black horizontal strip with a couple of feathered masks on a grey layer to break up a bit. Again I brought this into our main composition and turned the layer off. I added a new adjustment layer with the displacement map effect and selected our map 2 from the drop down. I increased the max horizontal displacement to 350 and the vertical to just 56. I then keyframed the horizontal amount to increase over the duration of the animation. To add some depth to the waves, I duplicated our map 1 turned it back on and brought it on top of our stripes layer, but still below our two adjustment layers. I then set its blending mode to multiply and added a levels effect, which I adjusted until I was happy. Lastly, I turned down the opacity to roughly 80%. I duplicated the shadow layer and changed the blending mode to add. Again, I adjusted the levels until I was able to achieve the highlight effect I was going for and then dropped the opacity to 20%. The last thing to do is to bring this build comp into our main render comp and we're all done. <laughs> 